The GTR Lighting Ultra 2 LED bulb is an LED replacement for a halogen light bulb commonly found in fog lights, off-road vehicles, low beams and high beams, all kinds of applications. But it's really important to know how to adjust the alignment of the LEDs inside your assembly. See, with your original assembly, the halogen bulb is 360 degree light output, so it doesn't really matter where it's pointing. But with the LED version, the chips are only on two sides. So if you have it up and down, you're gonna get a weird beam pattern. If the chips are facing at an angle, you're gonna get a weird beam pattern. General rule of thumb is that the LED chips should be facing left and right, perfectly horizontal. Now, right out of the box, the Ultra 2 bulbs from GTR Lighting are aligned for correct installation on most applications. But there's a few oddball ones out there. So if you find yourself with the Ultra 2 bulbs and a funny beam pattern, chances are you need to clock the bulbs to index the chips left and right. In this video, we're gonna go through each style of the Ultra 2 and give you a quick overview of how to do that. The H11 bulb uses a single Torx set screw on the front of the mounting collar. It's sandwiched between the rubber O-ring and the top tab of the mounting collar. The kit comes with this little tiny Allen screw wrench. You put it on there and then you unscrew the set screw and when you take it off, you can actually see that all the way around the collar, there are tapped holes. So you take the screw hole on the collar and you line it up with the tapped screw hole on the bulb. So if you install your bulb like this, you would unscrew the set screw, align it so the chips are perfectly up and down, and then replace the set screw. The H13 uses two set screws around the mounting collar. It comes with your Allen screw wrench, and first you have to undo the set screw on the front, like so. And then you undo the set screw on the back. Now keep in mind, you may not have to make any adjustments at all. Sometimes these are gonna line up perfectly with your assembly's reflectors. If we can take it off, you can see all the tapped screw holes for those two set screws. So if you get your bulb in, and it's supposed to be horizontally aligned, but the chips are facing up and down, chances are you have to remove those two set screws, clock the bulb so that the LEDs are facing left and right, and then replace the two set screws in the corresponding holes underneath the collar. The 9007 bulb works a little bit differently because it only has two sets of alignment tabs. If you take the bulb out, you twist it inside its collar and pull it out, you see there are a couple notches that fit into the keyways, and you can either have it installed like this, or you unscrew it, take it out, and flip it or like this. One of those two alignments should fit every single application. The H7 has a completely different type of collar adjustment. It has this metal collar that has two posts built onto the bulb shaft that ride on a notch adjustment plane inside the collar. So it spins freely, but the way that you can take it out is you go all the way to one side and the tabs built onto the bulb line up with holes in the collar and you can take it out. You can see there's a keyway at the top and the bottom and they line up with these two tabs on the shoulder of the bulb. So when you go to install the H7, this goes in first, the clip holds it in place just like your old halogen bulb and then the LED fits into those two notches. Then you twist it until it's lighting up horizontally and it stays put. It's that simple. If you have a 9005 or 9006, the adjustment is going to be really similar to that first one we showed you, the H11. You have the included Torx bit screwdriver and this time the set screws are hidden behind this O-ring. I can actually use the little screwdriver to peel the O-ring up and out of that groove and expose the set screws. Put the screwdriver in, unscrew the set screw, and then the collar will move freely around the base of the bulb. And if I lift it up and off, you can see that there are tapped set screw holes 
around the perimeter of the shoulder of the bulb. So if your bulb goes in and it's crooked like this where it's shining up and down at an angle, you take out that set screw, twist the bulb so that it's perfectly straight, and then reinstall the set screw into the collar. You have to do this adjustment outside of the headlight because you can't access a screw when the bulb is installed. So it might take some trial and error, screw it in, install the bulb, see how it looks. And when you have it perfectly straight, don't forget to put the O-ring back into the groove on the mounting collar. As you can see, there's basically three different types of adjustment methods used on the Ultra 2. You've either got set screws around the collar, you've got the plastic collar that has two different adjustments, or you've got the tabbed pressure collar like the H7 that just spins freely. So should be pretty easy to figure out, but if you still have questions, send us some pictures of what you're working on or call in or email and we'll be happy to help. The next step after you get the bulbs installed is making sure you do the full alignment. So go check out our other video on how to aim down the road.